hello friends so I am going to have fun with this really great paper by Heidi Swamp it is from Wolfpack and it is spotted but this side has my heart I mean look at it. it's like scuffy scuffy painted wood so great and I'm going to go ahead and scrap lift this right here from scrap squad and I will go ahead and make sure to put it right about here so that you can see how much mine doesn't look anything like it when I'm done um and I'm gonna use this photo a friend of mine Tracy um, that's here on YouTube as well I'll try to link her channel below if I remember came into my town or my area about an hour from me to visit her daughter and I was able to go to lunch with her so that was fun and she came to my house met some of my family all that kind of stuff so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm really looking at these beautiful embellishments from the new Vicky Booten collection they are just gorgeous and they they seem to go really well with this kind of weathered wood looking kind of a thing they're a little muted they're gorgeous watercolory all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the next bits take you through my process and we'll see if it looks anything like it when I am done wish me luck all right my friends so I have trimmed the branding strip off of this fab background paper and trim my photo that's the only thing I did just now and then I decided that I would uh, go ahead and back this scrap piece of black cardstock I have um, it's kind of like a piece that I gutted out of something and then used part of it it's kind of gone through like 15 different layouts like bringing it out and putting it away so I thought I would go ahead and get it cleaned up and back my photo with it so that it can hopefully pop off the page just a little bit more than uh, it was the white on kind of that distressed white background was just kind of um, yeah it was, it was just blending in just a little bit too much now I think I'm gonna be concentrating on these absolutely stunning Vicky Booten um, ephemera die cuts whatever you want to call them that you see laying about there I always like to audition a bunch of pieces and not everything will get used but I will audition a bunch now this paper uh, pattern paper pad I that is like kind of a tongue twister it is from Amy Tan and most of it's very bright colored but there was a piece of paper in kind of this taupe tone that matched the uh, the taupey color that tan I don't know it's like a distress distressed linen color that was in the Vicky Booten line so I'm going ahead and using that to slightly mimic the scrap lift how it has the pattern paper above and below the photos now those photos are a lot more of a film strip kind of style and I just have the one uh, Foco photo here, the only one photo, but it is taking the idea and the inspiration from the scrap lift, so it practically counts. So this is where I'll start auditioning a bunch of these pieces, seeing what what is catching my eye the most, and uh, and hey, if I can use up some of my goodies, it's even better. Now, as you see, I did go ahead and do some messy sewing on that that pattern paper strip as well. I thought that it added a little bit of texture and brought in a little, a little bit more of the black. And I'm using some adhesive, adhesive on one side, already adhesive on one side, uh, fun foam in order just to pop up our photo and make it... Um, yeah, make it the star of the show so I also wanted to use some of these nice leafy bits I right now my lawn is as green as it is in springtime for whatever reason no idea what's going on with that so we are highlighting Tracy's black shirt and the area around uh, or I guess my front yard <laughs> anywho so 
I absolutely love these Vicky Booten die cuts, but I've been drawn in this kit. I'm using a Mind the Scrap kit. I, I don't remember if I told you that, but I just absolutely loved the Amy Tan um, die cuts because of how bright and vibrant they are. So I used up almost all of that, and now I'm moving on to like that slightly more muted, watercolory gorgeousness that is so indicative of Vicki Boone products. So these right here are Paige Evans' Fabulous Shiny Puffies. I'm seeing what I might like to use from that collection. The Alphas that you see kind of behind there, those are the new Amy Tan. Um, they are glittery foam stickers and they're itty bitty. They're like a centimeter high. They're pretty darn cool. Now I am going ahead and just changing the die cut instead of tell the story. Um, I wanted my title to be just a little bit different. And since I am the boss of my scrapbooking supplies, I went ahead and just trimmed that out and nobody but you and I are the wiser. So, and I think it's adore the story is what I ended up calling this because I did like the, um, the the word adore the the green color is matching really well to the Vicky Booten die cuts, and it's bringing in just a little bit more of that color family. I was, I was um really feeling kind of like the coral and the sea foamy greenish whatever families. I don't know. I was loving it with this Heidi Swap background piece of paper. And one of the other things I'm really enjoying, even while I'm watching this video and doing a voiceover is that I have a Heidi Swap paper, I have Amy Tangerine paper, we've got, you know, obviously Basil for backing the back of my photo. I'm using Vicki Booten um, product, and I'm also using Paige Evans um, for Pink Paisley. I mean, how great is that? You're combining all of these collections, and they are still making sense in a layout. To me, that is fantastic. So um, what you saw me do right there is I went ahead also and used a little bit of the fun foam to pop up the words, the story, and I'm trying to nestle that in the best that I can with the words, um, or with the adore word. So I'm going ahead and using these cute little foam stickers. I did say that I had the glitter ones, and also in the same package you get this um, kind of like like um, cardstock sticker overlay on the foam and they're fantastic. They're sticking really, really well. I went ahead and just put Tracy's name uh, on that flower embellishment on the top, just as, you know, starting to build my cluster over there. And on top of this really great envelope piece of paper, I decided that that should be where my journaling spot will be. And I'm going ahead with pencil and putting some journaling lines in. For some reason, I always use pencil. And then I go ahead and write on it with, uh, you know, whatever color marker works for it. But pencil lines, maybe because I mess up so much and I have to erase, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and journal that ever so quickly. I wanted to play up some more of the black in this layout. So I went ahead and went into my black color drawer and pulled out these three little chipboard circles. They have different cute little sentiments on it, but it's also giving me a nice round element and you know a really nice graphic pop as well as the dimension of chipboard. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue them in in three different areas, which is starting to give me you know that nice dimension. I have sewing on here. I have my photo is popped up. Underneath that orange flower at the upper left of the photo, I do have some foam beneath that, um, allowing it to have a little bit of shadow. I have puffy stickers on here, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, I absolutely adore dimension on a layout. It doesn't have to be five feet thick, but I do like um, I guess different textures, different dimensions, something for my eye to kind of go around and look at and and see if there's anything else I want to tell on the story. So this is where I'm like, let me just bring in a little bit more of a color. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring in this really nice 
plummy shade that is uh, part of the Paige Evans, um, these really fabulous puppy stickers. I love them. They're from her new collection, the Truly Grateful collection. They are so soft and gorgeous, and it's giving me yet another textural element in that the other puppies I'm using are shiny, and these are like this really soft, um, somewhere between matte and satin, so they're pretty cool. These little word stickers are from Dear Lizzie, and I love that we get several different colors on one sticker sheet. I've been using them constantly while I work my way through this Mind the Scrap Kit, and I love the versatility and being able to have all these different colors. I mean, it makes it that much more useful. It's, it's just lovely. All right, so now this is my bin of happiness, which is what I call the bin that I have. I have my enamel shapes and my enamel dots, and it's organized-ish. Those little uh, enamel dots fall around in there, but I do have all the enamel shapes, like, you know, in one section of this bin. So I went ahead and on where that envelope is, I just filled in the floral centers with the enamel dots, no big deal. But the other two um, spots that I'll put enamel dots, I'll do them in sets of threes using the same colors. And it's bringing a little bit more of that really great, I guess, plummy orchid color in, as well as, you know, letting me have my shiny little enamely texture, which does, it adds to it. Like this is such a simple layout, even though I have like the wood grain in the background. I don't have a tremendous amount going on other than uh, some absolutely gorgeous giant flowers. But the story is simple. A couple of gal pals hanging out and being able to hang out in real life, not just virtually. Now the next thing I do do is I'm going to take some KI Memories glue, if you guys remember that, G-L-O-O. And I'm going to go ahead and make a few places on it shiny. I do it on where it says the story and in the center of a couple of the flowers. So I'm going to finish this layout with just a little bit of mist. I'm covering up my photo. See, I have Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I think it's called Black Magic. It's probably a Halloween line from 10 years ago. No idea. Just adding just a little bit more of a delicate black splatter on this to finish up my layout. So that's about it today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And, oh, if you have any questions or comments, any of that kind of stuff, leave it below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you want to go ahead and like and subscribe, that helps me out because it lets YouTube know that it likes my content. Oh, and if you want to hit the notification bell below as well, um... Go ahead and do that and it'll notify you when my next layout goes live. All right, that's it, friends. Have such a great day.